Now, you grew up in Long Beach. Yeah. Okay. Now, what was it like growing up in Long Beach when you were a kid? When I was a kid, it was, it was a real together time, you know, amongst people in the more, in the more urban uh, areas. You know, you still had people wearing uh, bell bottoms and afros <laughs> when I was growing up. Right. So, you know, it was like a time of unity and togetherness. I remember uh, Gil Scott Heron mm -hmm. and uh, was that Brian Jackson, I believe, played, uh, played at the park, at King's Park, you know, free concert. And it was like four or five hundred people just chilling in the park and just having fun, like a big reunion or something. So, you know, it was... Uh, them days, it was more, you know, it was more about the people, man, just having fun together, you know, it really wasn't about so much of what you had, it was just, you know, it was more about who you were. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, at, at what point did, did you start getting involved into the gang culture in Long Beach? When I was about 10 or 11 years okay. old, uh, I was hearing more and more about the Crips in LA and Compton and that started a gang called the Payback Crips in Long Beach and uh, the Ace Deuces were also a gang. And, you know, my brother used to, you know, run, run, with, uh, run with gangs and things like that. So, you know, just I was exposed to the culture at a very young age and it like, it like fascinated me because I really didn't see, you know, school and sports and stuff like that as something that interested me. Mm -hmm. It was more like, you know, being a part of that, that street culture with the trench coats and the Godfather hats and the Stacey mm -hmm. Adams shoes, you know, that kind of attracted me there. Now, now, uh, 10 or 11, I mean, that, that's real, real young. Like, what, what type of things was you getting into, like, right around that age? Uh, I learned, well, then they had the butterfly ignitions on cars, so you didn't have to go do so much hot wiring or you know have gizmos and stuff you can catch somebody who didn't click their ignition all the way over and just turn it and you had your car for however long the police chased you <laughs> took for the police to chase you so i was doing stuff like that and you know burglaries and just you know whatever the the, the crew i hung with wanted to do you know mm -hmm. just terrorizing and just messing up but were you getting arrested as a kid Yes, I was arrested actually 19 times in one month <laughs> at about the age of 12 years old. So, so two-thirds of the month, you were getting arrested. At, you let <laughs> my day. moms come pick me up, the next day I'm back in jail, you know, doing okay. something else. I mean, I mean, that just sounds insane, like when you say it out loud, 19 times. I it, mean, was, it was, it was insane. I I mean, was at one point, after 15, you're like, you know, this ain't, this is a bad month for me right now. Maybe I should stay in the house. Now yes. I'm going to go back outside and get into some more trouble. At that age, you didn't have the sense of logic then, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, what, what do you think was the craziest thing that you really experienced as a juvenile? You know, growing up in that type of environment. Well, just uh, hmm. you lost probably, it. probably, pro yeah, it was probably one of my uh, one of my friends went for hearing when my first friend had got killed. Yeah, and I was in uh, I was in the California Youth Authority, and I got the word that that he had been killed on Halloween, and uh, you got shot. Yeah, he got shot, yeah. and it was like a random thing. It wasn't not, you know, gang banging or nothing, and it was just like, man, I was a real friend of mine, and, you know, for, for me to hear that he had been murdered, and, you know, I, it, it just like, it was like, wow, this is like, damn. It just started the pattern of losing loved ones, you know what I'm saying? But I remember how I felt then, hearing that the first one was gone, so probably death had the most impact on me. How many friends do you think you've lost because of violence? Definitely, definitely over 100. Over 100. Definitely. For my gang itself, because I've been there since the beginning, I'd say about 70, 75. Maybe I didn't know 25, 30 of them. They were young or I was in prison yeah. when it happened or something like that. But And then... 
the different ones I was in jail with as a juvenile from other gangs. And, oh, you heard what's the name got killed? Oh, he got killed. Oh, yeah, they got killed. I'm like, wow. So about 100, easy 100. <laughs>